Hi guys and welcome back to my channel keeping up with Kia P. I am your girl Kia P aka Kia the crafter and today we are working on another resin project okay but before we get started go ahead and hit that like button that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload new content and we're always uploading new content so with no more further ado let's go ahead and get started so we are outside getting ready to spray paint these beautiful babies right here let me get you guys in focus there we go getting ready to spray these babies right here with our beautiful spray paint that i have i have not done an orange purse so today we're going to be using this color orange and we're going to spray paint these shells with our orange spray paint so we're going to go ahead and get started covering up the shells nice and good with a nice even coat of our spray paint making sure we get the sides kind of hard to get in these angles inside this box but that's okay we're just going to make sure we get a nice coat on there we're going to come back and spray another coat so that's perfectly okay we just want to get a nice covering on it right now that's going to be pretty so we're going to let this dry we're going to come back do another coat of our orange on here and then we're going to go from there okay hold tight all right guys we are back we're gonna go ahead and put our second coat on here give it a second coat of our orange making sure we get along the sides Top here. And we're going to let this dry. Might do one more coat just to make sure that it's good and coated, but we're going to let this dry here. We'll come back and we'll see where we at. Make sure y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell notification bell so that you can be notified guys stay tuned we coming back all right guys so we are back with our two orange shells i did put a third coat onto these they came out nice and pretty so now what we're going to do i'm going to lay out some more spread this paper out and lay out another sheet on top so that we can get it prepared for the resin so hold tight okay so we ready we're back we have placed some paper parchment paper down i got my four cups right there that i have the the um sh the shells elevated on now what we're going to do is add our glitter to this mixture that we have here which is a little bit over three ounces so i'm gonna take a little bit out because I don't want to waste all of this on this purse well not waste it but use it I should say on this purse so I'm gonna take some of it out because I'm gonna try to make it to another project if possible okay hold tight all right, so we're going to add this um, orange hollow glitter, which I think is going to be super pretty to this mixture. 
and I want to be generous with it. I was going to put this orange in there, which I still might throw a little couple of pieces of that in there. I think that's, oh yeah, we're going to add a lot of that. That's going to be pretty. And then we're going to give that a stir. See what we have, what we come up with. If we need to add a little bit more of the orange in there. I'm going to say yes. Girl can never have too much glitter. Then we're going to add a little bit more of the super fine hollow in there to kind of offset it. I think this is so pretty. Look at that. Can y'all see that? Super pretty. And then that's our mixture so far. Give that a stir. And what I've learned is not to pour it right away. Let it get a little thick. That way it don't run as quick as it did, or as it do, I should say. Let it get a little thick. Let's see what we're sitting on here. It's a little uneven. Let it get a little thick and then, you know, do what you need to do. So it is, it's not as runny. It is a little thick. So I'm going to start with this little bit. And we're going to spread that on. I've heard when it's thick it don't run as much so yeah oh that is so pretty and I think this is my first orange purse that I've ever done So yeah, when it's thick, it don't run as much. So you can apply it a little bit better. And then come back and over pour it. So then I can work this side before I start working on the sides. So yeah, this 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 glitter just makes it look so much more girly and cute and glittery. And when the sun hit it, it's probably gonna be super pretty. We like glitter. I think most girls like glitter. Most, you know, there is an exception to all rules and whatnot. So everybody may not. But I think even those girls like it on other girls, you know. I like it. I like it. I wouldn't wear it, but it's cute, you know. That's pretty. Okay, so now we're going to come back to the top one, and then I'm just going to go over the corners and go ahead and start getting that to run over. I'm 
once it starts to run over, I can come and smooth it. Same thing for over here. Come back, start running it over the edges. Start smoothing it out. So I'm just getting everything out the cup. to put another um, coat of resin on top so if you don't get a lot on the sides that's fine you just want to get some you know you just want to get it on there if it rolls off that's fine because you're going to put another clear coat over it and whatever you don't have glitter or whatever you need you can or resin you can you know touch it up at that time so I'm just cleaning my cups so I can um, they don't get hard and I have time to work so now I'll scrape up what's on the, what then fell off and use that to coat my sides and it'll roll back off, but you just want to get the coating even on the sides. Again, it will roll off. That's fine. Come get some from off the top because it don't when you have shells like it don't really take a whole lot to coat them and I've learned that to not have so much resin wasted dripping off of the purse because when you hit it with the fire it's going to smooth it out so like these, you just come back and smooth it across. Wherever you got some excess resin, just pick it up and put it on there. It will level itself out. Turn 
these around so I can get to this other side and just see what it looks like from a different angle as well. And gently rubbing across the top to just get a little bit of resin to put to fill any areas that may not be covered from the dripping over. Once they connect, it will level out. Okay, so this is the first time I tried that weight method to get it a little bit more tackier before I poured it, and I think I like it. I've used less resin, so that's a plus. good to go. Let's work on this side here. So all I'm doing is picking up resin and putting it on the sides and connecting the dots so that it can cure. Everything looks good and y'all it is like hardly no resin and I like that let's get in this corner and making sure everything is nice and smooth and good to go okay I think we're good now what we're gonna do is hit this with the torch so we can get all of our bubbles out smooth everything out set it to the side this is just making everything nice and smooth and then we'll be moving on to the next part even taking the flame over the um your sides it just makes everything it thins it out so it'll flow a little bit easier and be nice and smoother i see something right there I want this to be as shiny as possible.
Had to torch something else. Okay, so we gonna set this to the side and we gonna be all set with this. And we'll come back and finish her on up. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, all the notification bell so you can be notified when we upload this content, right? All right, hold tight. All right, guys, we are back with our shells. They are fully covered. We're gonna go ahead and put our sticker on here. I had another one, but it got messed up, so I'm only gonna be able to do one in the video. So I'll figure I'll do that one with you guys. And then I'll come back and I will do it, do the, the second part. So what I'm gonna do is take my shell here and my sticker which is a transparent clear. I don't know where this white dust is coming from. I don't want to use that. But we have our white sticker there, and then I'm going to go ahead and coat it with a clear coat of resin. Just so you guys can see how I do this part. I didn't even put my lettering on here, so we are literally winging this one. And I might have to put my lettering when I do the other side. But nevertheless... So I'm just going to press this sticker all the way down to get it nice and smooth so that there's no air in between it and the mold here. So there we have that. Get my other glove on and then we are going to pour the top part on okay so I have about an ounce of resin here and I'm just gonna pour it right on top of our shell here now this this part don't necessarily have to drape over the sides it could just sit right on top it may drape over that's okay if it do you just want to make sure you smooth it all the way out This orange is so pretty. I'm just making sure we get everything out. So we don't want to waste anything. And then I'll come back. I don't know if I'm going to add the lettering, which I probably will. And recover it. But because I had this resin left and... I had planned on doing it we're gonna go ahead and do one side and then I'll come back with the frame and we'll move on Okay. 
I'm gonna get my cup out. And now we're gonna go ahead and spread the resin like so. And it looks nice and pretty and smooth. Just make sure we got it where it needs to be. Now it did run over my edge here. So I'm just going to smooth that all the way down and across. And that will keep that nice and even. on this side now it did not run down on any of the other sides so that is that is good I'm gonna turn and check it uh -oh. carefully turn and check it and it did run a little bit on this end so we're gonna go ahead and run it over just to give it, make it sure that it's even. That is pretty. For some reason, I just want to run it over this end. side to Everything is looking nice and good, real smooth. We're going to pop it with the torch. out, keeping it nice and smooth. And we're going to set this to the side, let it dry. Okay, come back, we'll finish it up. We'll finish her up. All right, guys, we are back with our shells. We're going to go ahead and put the top coat on them. I went ahead and put the wording on them. I'm gonna grab this one. With my Cricut, so my swag's different, my swag different. Yep, my swag different. And that's what that one says. We're gonna go ahead and get us um, three ounces of resin mixed up here. So I have a little bit of my epoxy resin store resin left. So we're gonna go ahead and pour some of that into our little container here. Trying to get the last little bit of this out. We are down to our last little. on this make sure we put the top on to finish draining get our hardener <clears throat> and this is should be our final coat 
for this. I don't plan on adding anything else to it. Gonna mix this up. And this is just three ounces. This little small cups holds three ounces. So I'll mix this up real quick. And we're just gonna pour this over, pour this over it <clears throat> so we can seal the lettering in, the sticker in and just make it look more polished i've already sold the other one the yellow one is gone it's sold so we got a couple more to do like i still got the purple one left i might have to redo the yellow one over just so i can have it for my collection when i present the collection and for picture's sake, yes, yeah, let's get this stirred up real good, scraping the sides. As you stir, it gets clear. Scraping the sides and along the bottom. <clears throat> All right. I think that's good. Alright, so we got that going. Set that down. <clears throat> I'm just gonna grab my spatula over here, get it prepared to um, do what it needs to do. Spray at the material. Okay, that looks pretty clear. <clears throat> Go ahead and start with this one. I'm just taking it to the edge here. Cause I know it's gonna run down um, towards the bottom. But I'm taking it to the edge, not allowing it to roll, run over at first. <clears throat> Just kind of running it over right to the edge. I will take it over once I get the top fully <clears throat> covered. So that everything is sealed in. Three ounces is <clears throat> a little bit more than enough. So I'm just letting you know. Many acts. I have to come have asked where do you get these at? All that will be linked in the description box below. If not right away, at some point.
I'm trying to have them available on my site. looks pretty good and that's just kind of sitting on the top Again, more than enough. So I'm gonna come over here and do this one. Taking it right up to the edge. the lettering to the edge we're just covering it it's not rolling over quite yet <clears throat> all right so we have that pretty much covered and I still have about an ounce and a half left so if you just want to do seal in just the artwork on it, you can do that with probably an ounce and a half. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pour some in the middle. Over here, I'm going to begin to let it run over. Coming back, swiping the sides in an upward motion so I can make sure everything has at least some resin on it as it drips. As it drips. It's going to drip off. That's what we want. We just want the sides to have that shiny coating. So that everything will be nice and cohesive and pretty. I'm going to do the same for this side now. Just go ahead and just bring it to where it's running over. Swipe upward. And then that's how you get your full coverage. I mean, there's so many ways to do it, but you just want to make sure the main thing is to make sure you can use a brush or I've never really used the sponges because I think they take up a lot of resin. So I don't use the sponges, but you can use a brush. You can use... Um, And then I just got one more side to do, and then I'll turn it, and I'll turn it and do this one. So then we'll pour some right in the middle over here. And we're going to do the same thing. Just let it roll over. And you run it back up. Just run 
I think these are turning out to be really cute little purses, wearable art. Um, I really I like them. And then the rest you can just pour culture corners. Make sure your corners is getting resin as well. So you always can scoop up what is dripping off and put it back on to cover. I'm going to turn it so I can get these other sides. And we can get it cleaned up and let this sit so we can come back and finish it up guys. Cause my swag is different. <laughs> what is swag? Swag is like the way you move your juice. Um, just for someone who may not understand what swag is, it's like your personality, your um, yeah, your juice, how you move. Um, my swag is different. My personality is different. The way I move is different. Everything about me is different type. That's that's what swag is. It's just you. And so you would tell somebody, my swag is different. I know. my. They'd be like, oh, I didn't know you was ABC. And you're like, yeah, my swag is a little bit different. Or my swag different. Or if you heard Jay-Z say it, you know, in his albums or whatnot, his records, then you, you know what it means. It's a metaphor, cliche. Yeah, so we, that's pretty much it. Making sure everything is covered. So now we're going to clean our cup while we let this sit. Let some of the bubbles come up to the surface. And then we'll pop those bubbles real quick. Set it to the side. And um, let, it, let it dry. Let it cure. Then we'll come back and finish it up. Put it together. And um, be ready to go. Ready for market. So cute. I like the little reflective iridescent wording. It just kind of brings attention to the purse. Make a person look at the purse. Um, it just kind of makes the purse stand out a little bit. So I really like adding the detail. Adding that detail to it. flame real quick speaking of which I need to go get a new one I 
this just keep it nice and clear and clean everything just all right y'all make sure y'all come back hit that like subscribe button notification bell so you can be notified when we upload new and exciting content. I hope you guys are enjoying the content I'm providing for you guys. Okay, see y'all on the next one. All right, guys, and we are back with our finished purse. She came out so pretty. Yes, show you the inside, side shields, inside, nice and clean. Right? You saw it here. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe notification bell. All that good stuff so that you can be notified when we upload new content. Again, donations are always accepted here. Everything is out of pocket. So if you will be so kind to donate when you, as whatever is placed on your heart, we will greatly appreciate it. We have no sponsors here on this channel thus far. We would like sponsors. We encourage sponsors. But right now, everything is out of pocket. So if you are learning something here that is valuable, helping you create better, more clean, polished items, go ahead and donate a little something to your girl. Everything is helpful. It just helps me buy supplies, new molds, so that I can continue to share them with you all. Um, I will have final pictures of her at the end of the video. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking, and sharing so far. I appreciate each and every one of you, you guys. You guys rocks. So give me some thumbs up. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe notification bell so you can be notified. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.